A patient from Malaba in western Kenya has been admitted to Kericho County Referral Hospital under isolation as the country remains alert following reported cases of Ebola deaths in Uganda. The female patient said to be presenting Ebola-like symptoms was admitted to Salome Hospital on Sunday night. Dr. David Ekiwan, the county's chief health officer, said the blood samples from the patient had been sent to the Kenya Medical Research Institute Kemri, for further analysis. It's important to note that, that the symptoms that have been exhibited by the patient can be indicative of any other medical condition and there is no confirmed case of Ebola at this moment, said Dr. Ekiwan. The preliminary test results are expected to be ready within 12 to 24 hours. According to sources, the patient was from Malaba where she resides and was traveling to Kericho to see her husband. According to the hospital administrator Margaret Oak Eero, the patient was complaining of headache, body fever, puffy face, some diarrhea, and nausea. On June 11, 2019, Uganda announced that a child had been positively diagnosed with Ebola, the first cross-border case in the since the outbreaks began. Democratic Republic of Congo DRC declared its tenth outbreak of Ebola in 40 years on August 1, 2018. The outbreak is centered in the northeast of the country. With the number of cases passing 1,000, it is now by far the country's largest ever Ebola outbreak. It is also the second biggest Ebola epidemic ever recorded, behind the West Africa outbreak of 2014 to 2016. Ebola is often characterized by the sudden onset of fever, intense weakness, muscle pain, headache and sore throat. The victims are then hit with vomiting, diarrhea, rash, impaired kidney and liver functions and, in some cases, both internal and external bleeding. Laboratory findings include low white blood cell and platelet counts and elevated liver enzymes. The fever has an incubation period of 2 to 21 days. This means someone can be infected with the virus and not yet know that he or she is sick for up to 21 days when the symptoms begin to appear. According to the CDC, a blood test can only be positive for Ebola once symptoms appear. However, it takes 42 days for a country to be declared free of Ebola transmission. WHO doubles the 21-day incubation period of the virus to ensure no new infections are happening.